this is a, uh, a fun 10 minute or so video of Alex Pagulain and Francisco Bustamante warming up for a uh, fundraiser event we had here in New England for our junior program a few years back. Uh, you'll notice that uh, they're taking it pretty seriously. They, they are warming up, but it's, it is a purposeful, intentful uh, uh, 10 minutes or so. They are learning the table. They're, they're checking the speed. They are warming up getting ready for an event and uh, they are taking it fairly seriously uh, you'll see that uh, even though that even though in this particular event that uh, they are playing amateurs uh, straight up it's a pro-am event but we had uh, Alex Francisco and Mike DeShane were helping us raise some funds for our junior program there was money on the line and uh, the pros uh, uh, if they got knocked out or if they lost, uh, did not come out in the top three, then they were they lost some money. So they took this fairly seriously. Now all of the amateurs had taken up most of the tables. There are 12 tables. This is at the Nest in Plastow, New Hampshire. Uh, there are 12 tables in the, in the uh, in the location. They're all eight foot diamonds. And uh, Alex and Francisco grabbed one table. And you'll see that they're pointing where they, they're, they're getting their speed control down there. They're checking the table. They are warming up and getting ready. And they're having some fun, too. They're not trying to learn anything new. They're not, uh, they're not practicing as many of the... Uh, uh, you see many amateurs before a tournament. They are trying to, they're trying to learn new, new, new banking kick systems. Then they're trying to practice something they don't quite know yet. If you haven't really learned it before the start of the tournament, it's probably not the best time. Um, you lose your focus when you're that kind of practice. Uh, when you're learning new skills, uh, it's a different part of your brain. You're not, uh, you're not focusing on warming up in the game at hand. You're doing something, uh, something different, something new focus and stay in the game um, and uh, of course you can have some fun but you want to stay loose loosen up your muscles and and um, and get ready for the event now here's a couple of uh, nice bank shots coming up they are staying loose you see the uh, audience applauding it's a big thrill to even watch some of these guys warm up Really nice uh, bank shots come. Here's a nice crossover bank on the nine. Some more of that one pocket and a really sweet tight angle bank in response by Alex. They are having fun. They're checking the table. They're getting the speed control down. Uh, this is a, a good way to warm up for, for a particular event. So it's this kind of uh, purposeful uh, warm up and uh, that is probably a good idea for many of the amateurs to, to emulate. So now let's keep an eye on, the, on this. It's a lot of fun. So time to get some of the kinks out. Remember, you want to you want to keep nice and loose. Now watch this three ball, Alex. It's going to give Alex a little bit of trouble, but he's not going to let it stop him. So we'll have Francisco, I think, is going to put the uh, the block balls back where they were. Alex is not going to walk away from this shot to beat it. He's going to complete this shot, get the position he wants before he moves on.
Remember, so much of this game is is uh, is mental, even for, for all of us, for the pros and the amateurs. So he's going to take this shot until he's comfortable with it, and before he completes the rest of his warm up. And later on, you'll see that he takes a few practice strokes jacked up on the rail as well. He wants to make sure that he's comfortable with these shots on these tables. I cannot tell you how often we see, especially with the, the juniors, where they're starting to they try to learn something new before an event, and that's not uh, that kind of practice. So learning is not really always the best thing uh, before an event. You want to stay warm, you want to keep focused, your head in the particular game, in the game you're playing. Um, and you're not worried about, uh, it's not the time to pick up new skills. If you're going to be doing that, wait till after the event. See, Alex is still getting, jacking up, taking practice strokes. Want to work that kink out before the uh, before the event. Doing it again. Now, this was a great event. We were able to raise about $4,000 for the uh, Junior Billions program here in, uh, in New England. Uh, we raised, uh, we were able to do this several times. We have Francisco coming up again uh, in June. Looking forward to that event. Alex loves applause. This is a good time, I guess. It's a good uh, example of how uh, some of the pros warm up. Uh, you may want to think about uh, gathering some calibration shots if you're learning a new table. Uh, going to an event, so you want to be able to have a, a little routine to stay warmed up and stay effective. And maybe you get to play like these guys. watching and and uh, for subscribing to all things cool.